My name is Monica Mascarenas. I'm from Albuquerque, New Mexico. I attend the University of New Mexico. I'm majoring in biology and I'm minoring in chemistry. So this summer I'm working with George Whitesides over at Harvard School of Engineering and Applied Sciences. I'm part of the research experience for undergrads and it gives undergraduates a very interesting experience to be working with different types of people around the country. I'm working towards fabricating a low-cost diagnostic tool similar to like a pregnancy test except it's going to be in a sandwich form that captures different types of antibodies and antigens and it's going to be detecting a similar virus that has the same properties as um, the HIV virus but it's streptavidin and it's going to be used as a model to eventually be able to diagnose different types of viruses that have the same properties. So far I've been working with a similar protein that has also the same properties as streptavidin which is known as bovine antiserum and we've been working to attach the BSA molecule to cellulose paper in order to act as an antigen that catches the analyte of the other labeled antibody that's labeled by a fluorescent label and that allows us to visually see whether or not the antibody is being captured onto the substrate and that can be used as another model towards streptavidin and if that works then we can bump it up to HIV. There are a lot of social implications for my research right now. Um, just the fact that you can make a device in any type of sense that doesn't require a lot of medical expertise to deliver. Um, most of the time when you go to the doctor right now, just to take a simple blood test, it takes you at least two to three weeks to decide whether or not this test came back positive or negative, regardless if it's HIV, if it's hepatitis, it just, just depends on the type of test that you take, but most of the time it takes at least two to three weeks. Um, even beyond that, developing countries are not able to go to a doctor maybe once every year. And so if a, even a um, relatively trained person with a whole box of diagnostics can go to a remote area and be able to test a very large population within a very short time and a very low cost, which is amazing. Just knowing whether or not you're HIV positive can make a huge difference on a very small, a very large population, and that's the key to regulating the HIV virus, is knowing whether or not you're positive or negative. A lot of people don't know that the HIV virus is actually a really old virus and only continues to be rapidly transmitted within our population as transmission rates increase. But if you can decrease the amount of transmission rates within a population, you can actually cause the virus to go into a dormant stage within that certain population. So the very important key to this is to find out whether or not you are HIV positive or negative and reduce the transmission rates and eventually be able to regulate the amount of HIV and AIDS viruses that get transmitted within a certain region. Um, I'd say if you love science, definitely pursue it. I mean, there's no boundaries holding you back from it. I came from a very different background where science wasn't really understood, and yet, even if you don't have the support system, or if you do have a really good support system, I'd say don't hold back. Even though you think science might be really difficult or it's really hard, it's really actually really fun and interesting and every day is different and new experiences and you just learn so much and it's awesome. Science is fun. <laughs>